How simple can a TV antenna be? It can be as simple as using the coax cable that's already plugged into your television. This is probably the simplest indoor dipole TV antenna you can make. A TV antenna is nothing more than a piece of metal designed to receive certain RF frequencies, in this case, television signals. A dipole TV antenna has two elements or arms that are cut to a certain length to receive a certain frequency of TV channel. This one here I made out of some scrap wood, a matching transformer and some scrap copper tubing, but an indoor dipole antenna doesn't even have to be this complicated. It can be made out of the coax cable you plug into your TV. To make a simple dipole TV antenna like this, all you'll need is a scrap of coaxial cable, maybe four or five feet long, preferably with a connector on one end. If not, you're going to have to add one. And the other side, you're going to cut, strip, and form into a simple dipole. All right, once you have your scrap of coaxial cable, starting at the cut end, you wanna measure back about six inches, and you have to strip away this outer jacket that's on the cable. And you have to be very careful when you do this because underneath this is a braided shielding that looks like this. And this is a bunch of fine little wires braided together. What you don't wanna do is cut through these wires because you're gonna need that part in the next step. So when you are stripping this cable, make sure you do it carefully. I would strongly advise that you use a coaxial stripping tool if you're gonna use a knife, you're gonna to have to work very carefully not to strip away that braided shielding. Let's pull that away a little bit and this should pull off. There we go. All right, and that's ready for the next step. Okay, now what you're gonna do is very carefully pull away the braided shielding from the cable. Just take your time doing this. Try to unfurl it. Work your way down slowly and try to pull those weaves away without breaking all these fine wires because you're gonna need these to become one of the dipoles on your antenna. If you get a few strands that break off, don't worry about it too much as long as most of it's still there. Now that the braided shielding is out of the way, you have to remove this insulating dielectric here that protects the center conductor. That's what actually carries the TV signal, this copper wire here. So to remove that, you're really best to use a coaxial stripping tool. You can buy these coaxial stripping tools at most big box hardware stores for 10 to $15. We're gonna use this little tiny blade right here that is going to cut away this dielectric. You can see I already have a little notch here. I would recommend cutting this away in small sections. That way you don't risk breaking the wire. And it's a lot easier because you won't have to force the, uh, the tool or force the insulator off as much when you're cutting it in short strips like that. You can see how easy it comes off. Just a little turn and pull that off there. Again, if you choose to use a knife to do this, go easy so you don't cut the center conductor. And the last section right here. Okay, there we go. That's all stripped away. Ready for the next step. And next, what you wanna do is fold this copper conductor down at a 90 degree angle, this is going to become one of the two dipole elements for this antenna. The last step in building this antenna is really finding a way to keep this braided shielding wire extended straight out so you have two elements that are of equal length. And one trick you can do is use a small piece of plastic tubing, just slide the wires carefully inside and then secure the tubing to the rest of the antenna with some electrical tape. Another option is to use some heat shrink. If you have some of that, you can put that on. 
But probably the best way is to simply secure the antenna to the wall and then tape the elements so that they're fully extended. And this way you'll ensure you get the best performance out of your coaxial cable antenna. Whatever method you choose to finish off your antenna with, one thing you want to pay attention to is keeping this braided shielding wire away from the copper conductor. Don't let these two wires touch because that will cause a short circuit and either degrade or break up your TV signal. The reason that I sized the elements the way that I did for this antenna, making them six inches long each, is because I sized this to receive RF channel 14, which is the lowest channel on the UHF TV band. RF channel 14 broadcasts at 473 megahertz, and when you calculate the dipole length for that frequency, it comes out to about six inches. So I figured if I made an antenna that can receive the lowest channel on the UHF band, then as you move up in channels, the frequency becomes higher and the antenna size actually gets smaller this antenna should be big enough to receive channels 14 through 36 on the UHF band. Now, if you're interested in making your antenna cut for a specific frequency and in turn a specific channel, then you can check the description of the video. There are links there to a table that tells you all of the frequencies of the TV channels from 2 through 36. And you can use those frequencies and plug that into an online calculator. That's the second link I put in there. All you have to do is take the center frequency, plug it into the calculator there, and it will tell you the length of each dipole for the channel that you would like to receive. And all you have to do now is mount your antenna in a spot where you're going to get a good TV signal. Try mounting your antenna as high as possible and mount it on a wall or a window that faces the direction of your local broadcast towers, and then connect your coaxial cable to the antenna in or RF in plug on your television, and you're ready to run a channel scan. So this simple dipole antenna is doing a great job receiving RF channel 9, and RF channel 9 is the only channel I can receive indoors in my area, and it's not even on the UHF TV band. It's actually on the VHF TV band. VHF channels usually require antennas with longer elements, much bigger than this one. So the fact that this antenna is working so well to pick up RF channel 9 indoors, I think that bodes well for it working very well with RF channels 14 through 36 on the UHF band. I would say this would be a good indoor antenna for you to pick up some of the major networks in your area, probably the strongest signals. I wouldn't expect to receive any weak signals, distance signals, or low power TV channels. But if you're just looking to get some free over the air television and get some of those major networks or the more powerful stations in your area, then this simple coaxial cable antenna should do the job. Well, it's not the prettiest TV antenna, but it's definitely a case of function winning over form. This antenna is another example of why antennas don't have to be fancy and expensive. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money for a TV antenna. You can make your own. And this also proves that TV antennas are really simple devices, simply pieces of metal or pieces of wire that receive TV channels.